So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and absolutely remarkable what he has accomplished since making his UFC debut in 2013. Still the only simultaneous two-division UFC champion the promotion has ever seen. That left hand, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you don't want to get hit with the left hand of Conor McGregor. He is precise, a creative striker who has certainly put Dublin, Ireland, and SBG, Ireland, on the MMA. McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully, not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record on 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighed in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Dublin Island. The notorious Connor McGregor. And now it's going to be a moment. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, El Terrible. Okay, well, thank yourself at all time. will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Oh, strong hook to the head there by McGregor. And a left hand behind it. <laughs> oh, hard inside leg kick, chewing up that meat. And this is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by McGregor. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be. Oh! 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 All right, back to his feet. But man, is he hurt? Look at him, Joe. This could be it right here. to the left.
left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, nice punch there by McGregor. Under three minutes remain in round one. Great exchanges. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Connor. Good solid straight. Oh! with a huge kick. How about that shin? Counters. Oh! This could be it. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, big left. 45 seconds remain in the round. He hurt him with that hook. For the win. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. We can see it from another angle here. Here is the huge uppercut that lands right on the money and ends this fight. Check out this angle here. Bam! Out cold. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the no time. So the notorious Conor McGregor getting it done yet again. I am running out of superlatives when it comes to describing all this man has accomplished. People have doubted him. He mutes every naysayer every step of the way. And again, it doesn't seem to matter the challenge. They said the wrestler would be his kryptonite. The striker had too much power.